Talking about Southampton, ask anyone what they normally associate with it, and 10 to 1, the answer will be ships. But naturally, there are many important shore installations, some of historic interest, like this old castle built in Henry VIII's time. But progress has caught up with the building, which now houses a modern radar installation, as incongruous a mixture of centuries as we've come across for some time. Here, at Calchard Signal Station, the duty operations officer overlooks one of the busiest stretches of salt water in the world. One that has to cater not only for large oil tankers, but the even larger passenger liners. Ship-to-shore communications are by ultra-modern VHF radio telephone. Southampton Patrol, Calchard Radio. Southampton Patrol, Calchard Radio. Proceed alongside the dredger in the main channel and warn her that the America will be passing in about 10 minutes' time and to pull well over. Over. And also radio, this is Southampton Patrol. The Southampton Harbour Board patrol launch immediately turns to warn the dredger to move clear of the path of the SS America, which, particularly in bad light and poor weather like this, is a vessel to steer clear of. One of the finest natural harbours in the country, Southampton has the added advantage of a double high tide, which allows deep draft vessels far more time in which to operate. The launch, which can locate its objectives with its own radar, relays the message of impending danger. It is the task of the duty signalman to log every vessel in and out of the port. Although conditions may deteriorate in, say, thick fog, the continuous scanning by radar ensures a much greater degree of safe navigation. The chief operations officer here, who represents the harbour master, Captain James Andrew, has, among other duties, to check not only current but future shipping movements. From Calshot, the radar covers the whole area where Southampton water joins the Solent. On the radar display, or screen, an electronic pencil of light locates and automatically computes the range and bearing of the SS America. The keynote of this complex, round-the-clock task is cooperation. No vessel is obliged by law to conform to advice from Calshot, but in the interests of common sense and safety, they do, and succeed in making Southampton one of the most efficient ports in the world. <laughs> 